excited to show you how I made this top because I think it might actually be my favorite thing that I've ever made. I'm really lucky because my mom brought me bags and bags full of fabric and old clothes and inside one of the bags was just this beautiful silk paisley print skirt. I really liked it honestly on but it was a little bit big so I would have to take it in anyway and it's just realistically not something that I would wear on an everyday basis. I decided to cut it up and make it into a sort of like young Donna meets 60s go-go dancer meets reformation princess top. To start off, I cut up one of the seams of the skirt to make one big rectangle, saving the zipper and waistband for use later. Oh, and don't forget to iron. How pretty. So what you're gonna need to do now is find a shirt that you like the fit of and is as similar to the kind of shirt that you wanna make as possible. Sleeves can be weird, so I wanna get those out of the way first. Just start at the shoulder and follow the arm seam of the shirt by holding your finger, marking it, moving down, then connecting the dots. I'm leaving a lot of seam allowance on either side of the sleeve, and that's to account for the stretchiness of the shirt I'm using to make the pattern. This was just the upper half of the sleeve, so I held my arm down on the paper and marked where my elbow was. For the back panel, just fold the shirt in half and trace around it. Don't forget to add half an inch for seam allowance. Now for the most fun part, the bells at the end of the sleeve. For this, I first measured the circumference of my arm right above my elbow, and then the distance from there down to my knuckles. With those measurements, I drew a sort of cone shape. The wider the cone, the flowier the sleeve. Time to cut the pieces out. I quickly discovered that silk is pretty slippery, and attempting to trace around the patterns with chalk just wasn't happening. So I pinned the pieces directly to the fabric and then cut around them. All my pattern pieces are cut out basically. For the bodice of the shirt, I just reused the back pattern piece and cut it down the center. Finally, it's time for the shirt to start taking shape. I plan on actually wearing this shirt a lot, um, well, if we get out of quarantine, but I want it to last when that happens. So I did a quarter inch rolled hem on all the exterior edges. This was super time consuming, but I think it's worth it. <sighs> that took forever. Now that that is over with, sew together the shoulders with a straight stitch. It basically looks like I'm wearing a really ugly vest. Although the sleeve seemed really daunting, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Lay out the vest and fold your upper sleeve in half. I marked the middle point with a pin and then I attach that to the shoulder seam. Then just follow the curve of the shoulder, pinning about an inch apart, but you can do as close as you need to help with any bunching from the curve of the sleeve. Now just sew it on with a straight stitch. If you're having any trouble turning your fabric, you can always put the needle down and then lift up the presser foot and turn the fabric to where you need. Now that the upper sleeve is attached, it's time to tackle the lower sleeve, which is the belt. You're gonna have right sides together as always, and you're gonna attach the small side of your cone to the bottom of the upper sleeve. As much as like it looks like I'm still wearing like an ugly 70s vest, like it's coming together. Always try in your projects as you go. You catch your mistakes so much earlier. In this case, I was really happy with how the first sleeve turned out, so I just repeated that process for the other side, and this is what my vest situation was looking like. Then I just did a rolled hem on the bottom of both bells. Let's make those sleeves cylindrical. So turn what you have of a shirt inside out and pin the right sides together from the end of the bell up to the armpit seam. Straight stitch, try it on, and then repeat the process. So this is the first sleeve done. I actually don't think I really need to tweak much. Like it looks a little pulley right here, but I think that's because the side hasn't been sewn together yet. I'm gonna sew, you can't tell what this is by me holding it. Here's the sleeve. I'm gonna sew this part of the shirt, just straight stitch. And I'm just trying to make sure that my like arm seams line up, which is way harder than you'd think. It is day three of working on this shirt. Like the sleeves, gorgeous, love them. After a long day of virtual college, I got back to work. After some trial and error for the bodice, I landed on cutting out two long right triangles from my remaining fabric. 
These were at a much lower incline than the neckline that was already on the front pieces. And that's how I got the princess square neckline kind of effect. Before I attached the new triangular pieces, I did a single hem around all the edges. To attach the triangles, I measured from the shoulder seam down to the top of the triangle for where I wanted them to hit, and then I made sure it was the same on both sides before sewing it down with a straight stitch. The leftover fabric that I did have, I cut into three inch rectangular strips like this, and I just attached it to the end of my shirt piece, so I'll have more fabric for the bow in the back. Once those extra pieces of ribbon are attached, it's time to hem literally everything. Anything that only has a single hem, you're gonna do a rolled hem. Anything that isn't hem, you're gonna do a rolled hem. Then, because I obviously like to torture myself, I decided to make a little ribbon with the leftover fabric from the waistband. This was really easy. You just fold both right sides together and do a little straight stitch, turn it inside out with a safety pin, and then sew the ends closed. Finally, the shirt is complete. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think that it looks so sick and I'm so excited to get to style it. I hope that this video inspired you or maybe you learned something from it. If not, hopefully it was at least a little bit entertaining. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.